Oh, that is impressive, though reckless. I've always supported your family. Don't make me regret it. Then you mind not making my mental work is quite affordable. Last month of his country bought three hundred of my finest steaks. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un mostro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Zio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. 
And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Yeah. Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Serezio. Am I right? Uncle, I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can smell money. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Buon viaggio! Ezio, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great-grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the Assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I'd give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. 
In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Ezio, you are still alive. Look at this place. The past two years have been kind to you. But you are not the same at all, are you? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. Ha ha! You found another one. How exciting! Hmm. This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time, just a series of sketches. Hmm. What to make of all this? Ha <laughs> ha! Of course. And why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo!
done it. Come quickly. Look. Take it. Try it. Thank you, Leonardo. Non c'è di che. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La volpe. A fox. Shh. A pisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the mercato where the thieves dwell. Sta attento, amico.
My pouch. Oh, my money. Your money. I don't have your money. <laughs> Get back here. Make me. You're making a big mistake, my. I really have no interest in hurting you. So give me back my money and we'll call it even. Not so fast. What do you want? Who are you? They call me many things. <laughs> Murderer, tagliagole, thief. But you may call me La Volpe. At your service, Messer Ezio. <laughs> How do you know my name? <laughs> It is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. I need to find someone. To know where he'll be before even he does. Who? Francesco de Pazzi. There's word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. A secret meeting at sunset tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. Do you know where it is to be held? Maggiardo. Let me know when you are ready. And we'll go. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here is your money. <laughs> Follow me. But we must move fast. Think you can keep up? That's some problema. Here we are. Francesco Di Pazzi is meeting his people inside that church. How do I join them? There are catacombs that are under the city. They will lead you to a place where you can eavesdrop on the meeting. Grip that stone handle. Turn it, then slide it down. Thank you for all your help, Volpe. Hmm. Buona fortuna.
How long do we have to stand here, Saverio? It's so cold. What do you want, Ilario? Messer Pazzi is paying us good money to watch the entrance, and the dead won't try to murder us. I can't wait to go home to Elena and tell her how much gold we made tonight. The door. Keep watch while I go look. This was supposed to be an easy job. I told you we shouldn't have come here. If I hear anything, I'm running to the other guard post. So help me God.
on him! Laju, you won't get away! Eccolo! Hurry, get him! Saverio! I'll be back with the other guards! Benedictio Dei Omnipotentes, Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, descendat super vos et maneat semper. Grazie, Padre. Bernardo? It's all here. Swords, staves, axes, armor, bows. Our men will want for nothing. I take this gift to mean the Pope consents. He gave his blessing to the operation. As long as nobody's killed. We're all set for the Duomo in the morning, Signore. The bait's been laid, but it wasn't easy. His fool brother keeps changing his plans. See, si. We'll need to be on hand to make sure Giuliano even gets out of bed for church tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Jacopo? Do you think they suspect something? Impossible! The Medici are too arrogant or too stupid to even notice. Likely a bit of both. <laughs> Do not underestimate our enemies, Francesco. Or have you already forgotten how your son was murdered? We'll suffer no such surprises this time, Maestro. You have my word. Molto bene. I should be off. I have some other business to attend to before I return to Rome. Gentlemen, tomorrow a new sun rises over Firenze. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May, May the Father, Father of, of Understanding, understanding guide, us. guide us. Look at that statue. 
It's identical to one in the Villa Auditore. I think you've stumbled onto one of the Assassin's tombs Ezio's uncle mentioned. Now that we know the way in, I'll tag the landmarks containing tombs in the database. I know where Francesco will be and when, but... What is it? I overheard something. They have weapons, enough for a battalion. Even the Pope has given support. Mm. Typical of Sixtus, but... What the hell are they planning? I couldn't understand the specifics, but it involves the Medici, and it begins tomorrow morning at the Duomo. The Medici will all be there for Sunday service. Along with the rest of Firenze. They're going to do it right in the middle of high mass. But it's also a chance for me to blend with the crowd, get close, and stop this madness. If they succeed, if we lose Lorenzo and Firenze falls to the Pazzi... It will not come to that. I promise. I hope you are right.
expensive, but my goods are worth the extra quadrini. I'm never... Ciao. Don't let them... There's Lorenzo and his wife. There's Giuliano, Lorenzo's brother. Where is Francesco? There he is. Time to strike. Crepa! Traditore! Giuliano! No! 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 No!
my life. It's nothing. But the man who did this to you has to pay. Ah! Not now. I need help first. To my home. People I trust. Can you... Ah! This way. I'm losing a lot of blood. Hang on, signore. I'm moving as fast as I can. Francesco de Patti! I'll kill you. I'll wipe the entire family from the city. They'll be a race! We ain't out here, signore. Observe your energy, or I'll be delivering a corpse. We're almost there now. Mercy, please. 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 Mercy, Lorenzo has been wounded! Aprite la porta! What's the password? Poliziano, open the maledetta porta! By the Christ's greatest, come in, quickly! The city is at war! Hurry! Wait. I am in your debt. Tell me, why did you help me? You are not the only one who lost a brother to the Pazzi. My name is Ezio Auditore. Ah. You're Giovanni's son. Your father was a good man. He understood honor, loyalty. The Pazzi thugs are storming the Palazzo della Signoria. We cannot hold them off much longer. No. If they get inside, they'll murder our supporters and put their own devils in power. Then my survival would mean nothing. I have to... Uh, uh. Francesco de Pazzi. Help save our city, Auditore. Kill him. Signori, I saw Francesco lead a battalion around the back of the Palazzo della Signoria. I fear he may be seeking another way in. Go, before it's too late. Do what you can! Traditional remedies and the wisdom of the
coming. It's just us now. Maledetto che il diavolo ti porti! Stami lontano! Now Firenze will judge you for what you've done. It's over. It's all over. Meglio essere felici in questa vita e aspirare a esserlo nella prossima. Requiescat in pace. When I was six years old, I fell into the Arno. I soon found myself drifting down and into darkness. Certain my life was at an end. 
Instead, I woke to the sound of my mother weeping. At her side stood a stranger, soaking and smiling at me. My mother explained that he had saved me. And so began a long and prosperous relationship between two families. Yours and mine. I am sorry I could not save your father and brothers. You have nothing to apologize for. I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths. They attack on you as well. I need to find him. That coward fled before we could arrest him. Have you any leads? No. They've hidden themselves well. They? Jacopo was not the only conspirator to escape. If they work with Jacopo, they were surely involved in the plot against my family as well. Give me their names. Antonio Maffei. Archbishop Francesco Salviati. Stefano da Bagnone. And Bernardo Baroncelli. Bene. I will go and see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait. Before you go. A codex page. I took it from the files of Francesco de Pazzi. Seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity. As did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. Che il Signore ci protegga. Jacopo di Pazzi, the money. This guy was the head of the Pazzi family, and he ran their banking business. An associate of Lorenzo de' Medici, he had nothing against him personally. So he hired four Templar hitmen to take care of the situation for him. Bernardo di Bandino Baroncelli. Brought up to hate the Medici family for the exile of his cousins, Baroncelli ran the numbers in the Pazzi bank by day, and murdered for the Templars at night. It was Baroncelli who delivered the first blow. Stefano de Bagnone. Known for his cruelty, Bagnone was trained in Rome as a Templar butcher. It was Bagnone who stabbed Lorenzo de' Medici in the back. Antonio Maffei. Witness to the sacking of Volterra by Florentine mercenaries, Maffei blamed Lorenzo. He joined the Templars to seek revenge. It was Maffei who slashed Lorenzo's neck. Archbishop Francesco Salviati. Convinced he would be the next Archbishop of Florence, Salviati was enraged when Lorenzo stood in his way. But the Templars were there to heal his wounds. It was Salviati who marched their troops into the city.